Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today guys I will be showing you, of course, just like the title says, how to set up the welcomer bot. So this is just a little server that I have, Wave Club Bot Development. Now I didn't make all of these bots, I made this one, but these are just different bots made by different people. So <laughs> yeah, um these rolls are uh prime rolls right here. Uh, yeah, so so we have the welcome channel where where we will get welcomed because you'll see soon how we have a test feature and the welcomer commands is just where we can set up everything welcomer. So yeah, that's the basic gist of this video showing you how to set up the welcomer bot. And thanks guys, I got 87 subscribers. Yeah, so on the road to a hundred and then gotta do that ten more times then we then we can monetize boys alright so let's get started okay so we will be inserting this now I just left a link in the description to the top top.gg link but alright here we are the welcomer bot we will now invite it to the server we will be inviting it to waveclaw bot development Take away administrator because it can bypass certain channel restrictions if you give welcomer administrator. So I will head over. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird cut. Head over to my Discord server, Waveclaw 18 Bot Development. This is my normal server. Join it, please. Link in the description. All right, here's the Waveclaw Bot Development. We will now give it bots that Waveclaw owns because roles are epic. All right, so the prefix for welcomer is plus. So, of course, we could just run the standard plus help command and boom. <coughs> Cough. Okay, now, as you can see, it might be a little bit hard at first, but if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can find welcomer. So, this is the module that we'll be looking up. So, if we type help welcomer, this is what we get. So, we can welcome the members into the server with DMs, of course, direct messaging, gotta love them, <laughs> embeds, which are of course these, which are like, kind of, I don't know, like a fancy way of that boss can send messages, I guess is the best way to put it, formatting, text formatting, everything, images. This is going to be the main focus. Now, this is also really important to set the channel. This test function is really useful because we can because we can now set like test as if somebody joined so like I could do test me so then test at wave call 18 and then after since I did that then it would test the send it would test the <laughs> the um the welcome message in the channel but it would test it as if I was joining that was probably really confusing but yeah okay so first of all we're going to do welcomer set channel and whatever channel you want the you whatever channel you want welcomer to send the message in so i'm just going to type in dash welcome and boom all right so now what we'll be doing is plus welcomer images now what this will do is say we have moved and then the dashboard the dashboard is where we want to go. As you can see, it takes a little to load, but eventually it will load. All right, guess what? It loaded. So now instead of being at the bottom, the welcomer is near the pretty near the top. And also just to mention, welcomer also has basic moderation and roles, and it also has a leave message as well. So yeah. So we're going to click the drop down welcomer and what we're going to be doing is clicking welcomer images. So now this gives us a lot of features. We can the text color, the color of the main text that is displayed. So I don't think I can show that to you right this second, but I I'll figure it out. I'll show you after um, we do the test. All right. <clears throat> Now, you click on this little white square right here, then it lets you pick a color. So I'm just going to go for a nice kind of aqua. Yeah, good. 
text outline color, pretty obvious. Profile outline color, you'll see where the the profile, just the uh, the icon of the member that joined, and it will have a small outline color if you put it right here, which this one is F F F F F F F. I I don't know in hex code, I think that's probably black. It might be white, I don't know. But it's somewhere near those. Image border, yep. Well, yeah, it's an image border. It surrounds the image. Text align. So now this, you can align the text to the left, the center, or the right of the text area. I'm just gonna click center because it looks way better. <laughs> image theme. Uh, we can pick anything. This doesn't, it kind of does something, but it doesn't do that much. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm just gonna click badge, cause yeah. <laughs> you can find the image previews right there. <laughs> yes. As you can see, there are a couple of different uh, images. So now this is the vertical image theme where it has the avatar on top and the uh, text on the bottom. Widget, where it has kind of the background up here, and then it has the avatar and then the text. We have the shadowed, which one half is kind of more shadowed. The badge, which is just normal, and the legacy, which is pretty normal as well. So if we just click back now. All right, profile shape. So we can pick the profile shape because as you saw, all of the um, the icons or the avatars for the people were um, circle. You can change them to squared or no bordered. Now the image message. This is what the message is going to be on the text. As you saw, if we just go back, this right here legacy image theme that's going to be the text so we're going to have to write in that and then we of course we have some of this formatting which they give us so welcome user.name i'm just going to fix this so i'm just going to put welcome to welcome to the i'm just going to throw in a the server and then comma user.name this mentions that well no it doesn't mention them because it's in the image so it just says their username and then you are the members this is the total server members user boom and then now this right here welcome or background you can choose the custom background <laughs> however it says this feature is only available for donators of the bot so yeah, <laughs> pretty obvious. Click Save Changes. And right up here, your settings have been applied. It's loading, and boom, all right. So now what we can do is head back into Discord. And then here's what here's where the test comes in. So if we do plus welcomer test. And then we gotta ping someone, so I'm just gonna try at waveclaw18. And boom, here it is. So here is the image. Welcome to welcome to the waveclaw18 bot development, waveclaw18. You are the eighth user. Yeah, okay, I don't think welcome to the is gonna be a good idea. Just welcome to sounds better. But yeah, here we have it. Welcome to yeah, so I believe that the FFFFFFF hex code was a white background white um, border So yeah, that was how to set up the welcomer Images welcome images if you guys did enjoy please like please subscribe and hit the little bell and make sure to click all because it gives me views by the way, my video is at 9.2k views. Thanks for thanks for that. Epic. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.